Time to clear the air, man. Yeah. It's been a lot going on, and I'm gonna get a lot of shit if I don't ask you. Yeah, wait. So I'm from Philly. I know you're not racist. I don't know. Listen, brother. Now I, 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 I know. Listen. I know. I was born in Puerto Rico. Came to America when I was six years old. Mm -hmm. I lived in recent Lehigh before that neighborhood where it is today, North Philly. It was still Polacks and Germans living around there. Okay, I went through hell. I went through hell racism in this country. My parents couldn't even speak in front of nobody Spanish, they tell you, speak English. And I couldn't, I couldn't understand what they told my mind. And my mind used to whisper to us in Spanish in public, whisper to us. I couldn't even get free lunches in school and they were free. That's when it was 15 kids in the class. Why you think I didn't get free lunches? Because I was Latino, there was no Latinos in this country when I was here. That's when 20th and Green down there was all Boricuas. Mm -hmm. And they took them all out, now it's those suburbs up there, okay? I went through racism in this country. I, was, I, I grew up in black neighborhoods. I, I'm from Pike, Eighth and Pike, Eighth and Buffalo. Okay, that's where I'm from. That's a black neighborhood. Okay, I went to black, black, black schools, black neighborhoods. So how the hell am I racist? But I fucked me a couple black girls. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, but do you, but do you understand, like, to people, for example, in the UK? Huh? For example, to people in the UK yeah, but they talk or to about people me, in but Australia? They too. Mm hmm. Come but, on, how you gonna think they're gonna dirty the water and then drink it? They dirty, they racist too. So when you call... How many of you champions in Europe? American champions. Mm. How many be on star promotion in Europe? American well, team. You got and let them go out there as an opponent. Yeah. How many you see? That picture on, on, on Instagram, Explore page a couple days ago, 20 Chinese champions. How many Americans you seen on that? Mm. So, but do you understand like Who how... Races? Like, do you, like, I'm Chinese I'm, restaurants around here in the hood. Chinese restaurants. Go see their apartments upstairs, see their mm -hmm. renting. Empty pigeons live in them. Because they scared of rent to the blacks and the Latinos. Mm -hmm. And you don't know what the hell they sell us. Because you get beef and uh, uh, you get barbecue and beef, and you get a whole lot of beef. But the last time I remember, beef expensive. How the fuck you get a plate of beef like that for the Barclays? Whatever you call that, Barclays? What the fuck is it called? I'm Puerto Rican, see? Beef I'm Latino. You eat beef and broccoli. broccoli, you get a whole bunch of beef for $3. How the hell that happened? Yeah. When the steak is expensive as hell. Come on, when yeah. you walk into these motherfucking Chinese restaurants, smell like cat. Like cat piss. Oh, Killing cats in the basement, brother. <laughs> I got real to friends, bro. They told me that shit. They mm. eat that shit in America. Well, thank you for call that. Call me Rex. Um, I'm bringing everything out to the open. They call me Rex. I'm going to be a racist. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be And we got AK. We getting ready for this war. But My we, team, we got AK-47. We ready. We got mm -hmm. fucking ammunition. And motherfuckers want to go to war. We got guns, too. And we ain't scared. We ain't scared. And we're mm -hmm. not, we not trying to threaten nobody. But we getting ready for the revolution, too. We got guns, we got AK, we got machine guns, we got all that shit. So as far as uh, as far as Keith Thurman is concerned, you wasn't trying to, you know, um, be racist Listen, towards Listen, brother, him. he said, I was humble, I spoke, mm. Danny spoke. He, I spoke, his trainer spoke. He got in the mic and said, I'm going to knock you the fuck out, Danny Garcia. I'm going to knock you the fuck out. That's what he said. And I said, you ain't going to knock nobody the fuck out, you bitch ass. Blank. Mm-hmm. That's what I see. So why yeah. he say got knocked? He couldn't say, Danny, I'm going to knock you out. You had to say, fuck you up, Danny. I'm going to knock you the fuck out. Yeah. So now he talking slam word. Now he talking hood shit. Now he talking gangster shit. Now we got to fight. <laughs> but you're not a racist. Come on, man. You, listen, if I was just racist, brother, just say if it. I was racist, you think I'd be here talking mm -hmm. to you? You won't be in no, here. I, know, hey, I, I, listen, know, I work though. for Russians. I know, though. I work for a lot of people. I work mm -hmm. for Russians. I work for Pakistanians. I did everything. I sold ice cream. I sold water ice. I did everything. I sold drugs. I sold cocaine. I sold every motherfucking thing in the world. I sold fucking rocks to a fucking crackhead. And I'm not talking about ready rock. I'm talking about rock, like concrete. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I sold yeah. motherfucking rock. You know what's a rock? Solid rock to a crackhead. Now you can take a motherfucking, you take a take a motherfucking uh, a salesman to do that. Yeah. Okay, so what's the, you know what's concrete? Mm -hmm. Not not ready, right? Concrete. <laughs> what's the game? I what? take the motherfucking money with a fucking orange chip gun by myself. Everything I did it by myself. I ain't never had twenty motherfuckers behind me either. No. Believe that. I'm from the hood, brother. 